Starbucks. It's me, your girl, 007 Georgia Peach. I am here with a recipe I would like to share with you all. Um, something I do for my palm baby. Um, he's a Pomeranian, and I have had him for 10 plus years now. So I just wanted to show you like a quick recipe that I do. Um, sometimes I add to his dry food um, to gradually get him into it, but just some fresh ingredients. Um, better than the things in the store. So right now I'm only working with one pound of ground turkey meat and I will be fixing this in the crock pot. Something easy, like the easy dump and go meal. So this is one pound of ground turkey and you can use whatever brand turkey meat you want uh, of your choice. I'm using the diced butternut squash and I'm using the diced yams. I will also be incorporating uh, organic kidney beans and cut green beans, okay? Also, I have some broccoli that I'm going to cut up, some carrots that I'm, I'm gonna cut up as well. I'm just gonna add maybe two cups of water. Yeah, maybe two cups of water because we're going to incorporate some rice I just you put it in here um, because I buy by bulk um, Sam's Club uh, Costco so I put it in this that big guy there so I'm just going to use maybe one cup of rice because I'm working with one pound of turkey meat so I'll come back to you and show you the rest right after this okay what I'm going to do now is open these cans of kidney beans and green beans so I can rinse off the juice and just simply use the vegetables itself. Okay, I'm just going to open it and get started. And I'm hoping I'm not too far away, you guys, that you can see this, or at least get the gist of what I'm doing. I'm just going to wash off and prepare the, actually I'm just going to chop it up first, the broccoli and then I'll take it over to the sink and wash it. So I might just do one stem, that should be about a cup and do that. So just get that. I'm going to do about 
two carrots. So I just do a rough chop. This is all over the place, but you know, they're just nice sliced carrots that's gonna be cooked down. And I almost forgot, you guys. Um, let me see. be using this I got this from the 99 cent store not 99 I'm sorry the Dollar Tree and this is so good it works so well it doesn't mess up your dishes the pots and pans is perfect for a pot pot because the way it's coated and the ceramic so definitely for the ground turkey I will be cooking this for I'll say three hours I'll probably check back at the two hour mark so that way I can smash down um, uh, everything, the carrots, yams, everything that I'm putting in the crock pot. So this should be, so one carrot actually should be enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna do one. And then if I need to use this, I'll utilize that. So we're gonna pan you guys over to the crock pot and we're gonna get started, okay? Okay. So we're gonna start to assemble. And then we'll pan down in the pot so we can everything looks. Just gonna get it started. Um, I will definitely talk to the your pets veterinarian to see, or you can do your own due diligence and see what is okay for your pet to eat. And I would definitely do that, but I enjoy doing this because I know it's definitely healthy for him. And yeah. Okay guys, I just finished washing off this broccoli. Please pay attention to fresh vegetables, especially because, you know, they can look kind of crazy because they can go the ground, but we're gonna go ahead and just start dumping until we measure out to one cup. So that's about one cup there. So, one cup, dump, and that to the side. And we're gonna do the one cup of the green beans. I would definitely, again, please um, do your due diligence as far as your your um, fur baby to see what they can eat so as far as fruits and veggies and I would definitely you know incorporate this fresh foods and stuff like that because you know it's, it's very important that they're health and they're healthy you know it's bad enough that they cross your arm and leg when they get sick and they have diseases and cancers and you know short lifespan because of what they put in our dog food so and just their activity and all that stuff so we're going to measure out one cup i forgot i mixed this together so i'm kind of picking through this but all i'm going to do is just 
freeze this, whatever I don't need, so the next time I fix fix this through, I can incorporate um, some more. That's all. So I'm go over, and I'm going to wash the um, carrots. So I'm going to measure out one. I'll cut one carrot because I the carrot I cut was pretty big. So that's about one cup. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to wash this. And it's a really simple assembly. <laughs> you know, it's, when I say dump and go, just dump and go. It's all about your prepping. It will be the time that you use. <laughs> so I'm going to do one cup of the butternut squash. This food is so pretty and colorful in this, and that's how all our food should look. So, I love this. It is so pretty. Like, this is so fall. <laughs> it's giving me fall vibes. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Look how beautiful that is. That is absolutely beautiful. It's healthy. I love that. So the last two things, let me show you guys up. The last two things, I'm just going to add his uh, rice. Uh, when I'm using jasmine rice. I'm just going to use one cup of that. And because I'm using one pound of, um, actually I do this with two pounds of turkey meat, three pounds of turkey meat. It depends on how much you want to make um, and put into a container. Um, you would have to figure that out. It depends on you know how much your dog weighs. If he's a big dog. He or she, then you're gonna, of course, wanna put more. I'm gonna use one cup of the jasmine rice. And I'm just gonna add to that two cups of water. Because the rice has a tendency to kind of suck up all of the um, the rice has a tendency to suck up the water. So that is why. And I'm going to set this bad boy to three hours. And we will be back to see the final results. Okay. I'm going to just plug, plug it in. Put the lid on. There we go. Put the lid on. Get this out of my way. And we're going to set it on low, you guys. I'm going to set it on low. We're going to cook it for three hours. And that is it. You can have the rest of your day. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, guys, as I was cleaning up, this is what I do when he has leftover food. Just put it in a seal tight container and I just freeze it until it's time for me to prepare it again. Whatever's left over. I got this container. Uh, actually, I got this container from Arisons, but you can get these anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Dollar Tree, 99 your grocery stores, your container stores. So, this thing I'm going to do just pop it in the freezer, and when I'm ready for it, it's already prepared and ready to dump and go. Okay, so we're back, and we're going to check to see how it's doing now. It's been going for an hour and a half now, so I'm just going to just smash down with this to get everything incorporated move that meat around I'm holding my phone so I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy but this is what I'm doing just moving the turkey meat around and This little meat mallet, it works so well. I'm just moving it around and then 
I want to get like the carrots and the broccoli down there too and the juices so I can kind of cook and go ahead and tenderize. do to it and then I'm just going to close it back up and let it cook the rest of the way. We'll be back. So we're going to put another hour. Let's give it another hour. And then we'll be right back. There we go. Okay guys, we're back again. Let's check on see how she's coming. Now that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, so I'm just going to stir her. See where we're at. Now, again, this the little juices that's on the inside this is all going to subside because that rice is going to suck it up. So, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this is the consistency I was looking for. So, this is all. So, what I'll do is let it come to room temperature and then put it in an airtight container for him in the morning. It's really late right now. It's like, what, 11.22 right now at night. So in the morning, I will scoop him up a little something in his little bowl and allow you to see if he likes it or not. So until then, I'll see you guys in the morning. Are you happy with your food? I think that's a yes, guys. Thanks for watching.